Welcome back to my channel. It's Brie here and I have my friend Lily. And today we're trying something new. We want to have a series called the Rainbow Series. And so what the Rainbow Series is, is that we make desserts every week or every time I film of a different color. Like this time it's going to be red. So next time orange, yellow, and so on. So take your large bowl and put in one cup of white sugar, a half cup of butter, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one and one half cup of cup, blah, 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 <laughs> cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half cup of milk. Mix that all up in here, and I forgot to mention preheat your oven. <laughs> That's 350 degrees. Because the coconut milk is a little too thick, we're going to have to um, half the amount that we're normally going to use. So half is milk and then half is water, so it won't be too thick. So we sprayed our um, Pam. Pam <laughs> with Pam. <laughs> so now we're going to put the batter in there and bake it. For how long do we have to bake it for? Oh no. <laughs> uh, 20 to 25 minutes. No. I'm sorry, 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> I read the wrong thing. So 30 to 40 minutes. And um, in the meantime, we are going to make another batter to do it, to make it two tiered. Exactly when we forgot, this is the rainbow series, so we had to put color in it. We still have this batter here, so I think we're gonna put some uh, food coloring in here to make it look red, and then I think we are going to do uh, put red fondant over the cake. two pieces to be on top of one another. So to do that, we need to make a buttercream to put here so it'll be uh, nice and sturdy when we put the second layer on and it won't fall off. So let's make the buttercream. So the ingredients are one cup of butter, three cups of powdered sugar, two to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt to adjust the taste. more 
finished. The thing is, I haven't worked with fondant at all. Ever. Ever. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, I forgot I wasn't filming and I already took out the frosting. I mean, the frosting, the fondant. And yeah, it comes with this little thing that says fondant in winter months. Winter and summer. Fondant <laughs> in summer months. Don't be alarmed if the fondant is soft and buttery. Nope. It is very firm right now. Here is the fondant. It's a rock. Like, I'm not even joking. It could break a plate if I want to. Nothing happened to it. I don't understand. Is it just this fondant or just fondant in general? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> don't feel it. <laughs> it's really hard. So, um, it is summer. The fondant may arrive very firm. Place in the microwave for 10 seconds per pound. Do not heat. Do not overheat. So, um, I'm going to put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. I don't know how heavy that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's heavy though. Um, <laughs> but I'll just do 10 seconds at a time. See if we're getting anywhere, at least. So, it's out of the microwave. I left it in for 30 seconds. It says 10 seconds per, per pound, but after it um, was up with 10 seconds, it was still a rock. So, after 30 seconds, I can squish it now. <laughs> still a little hard, <laughs> but I can squish it now. Oh, yeah, it's easy. It's a lot easier though. Um, how, how do we how do we do this? How do we do this? <laughs> I'm thinking don't over need it. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be stuck Ooh. to this. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We can't, we, really? Yeah. <laughs> but we can't, like, over-knead it, though. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> There's another rolling pit in there if you want. It's so hard. But the 30 seconds, almost a minute, in the microwave did do it justice.